Welcome back, guys. Today's topic is the merengue. Uh, we're going to talk a little about the, about the history behind the merengue, uh, the characteristics that make up the merengue, and also its influence in the United States. The merengue comes from the Dominican Republic, and it's very similar to the style of bachata. It originated as a ballroom dance, and it was then combined with African and indigenous Taino instruments. Merengue music actually became a popular style in the Dominican Republic during the Haitian occupation of Santo Domingo. Dominican artists increased the tempo of the music to disassociate it from the Haitian style. This style is played with string instruments, but has been transformed a bit over the years and is now played with accordion, which is an instrument brought from the Germans at the end of the 19th century. The merengue has actually been performed in the United States since the early two decades of the 20th century. An interesting fact, actually, is that the merengue was initially rejected by the country until Rafael Leonidas Trujillo came to power. The dictator promoted the merengue to the national dance of the Dominican Republic. Now, let's talk about the characteristics of classic merengue music. The merengue music uses a a repeating five-beat rhythmic pattern called a quintillo. It's played by three key instruments, a diatonic accordion, a two-sided hand drum called the a tambora, and a metal scraper called a charasca or gira. The lyrics of merengue are usually lighthearted and festive. The style rose to popularity because of New York-based groups and band leaders such as Rafael Petition Guzman, beginning in the 1930s, and then later Angel Viloria and his Conjunto Tipico Sabeño in the 1950s. However, it wasn't until the mass migration of Dominicans in the 1960s and 1970s that the music actually reached a mass audience. In the 1960s, a mass migration of Dominicans to New York City began. You could see this in the movie In the Heights. These Latin American immigrants brought their native music to American shores. They injected the merengue into the world's largest music market. With nearly two million Dominicans now living in the United States, The merengue influenced other American musical genres, such as rock and roll. Puerto Rican merengue artists such as Elvis Crespo have emerged, turning what was once an exclusively Dominican genre into something with an international appeal. Once again, thanks for listening. Um, Don't forget to watch my other videos on salsa and the style of rancheras. Until next time.